the Velvet Room. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? <laughs> Do you believe in fortune telling? Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. This is Margaret. She is a resident of this place, like myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. Slim down this summer with the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. 
I'm sure everyone is <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. Terminal in a few minutes. Passengers headed for Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. The scandal involves the Enka star Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well-known TV oh, announcer, Ms. should Mayer we Mino. go soon? Kind of yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect... Hey, over here. Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? This here's my daughter. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what are you so shy for? Ow! <laughs> Well then, let's get going. My car's over there. Hey. You dropped this. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. What's wrong? Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. I know. Jeez. Are you taking a trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Are you in high school? Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do, I'm sure you'll get bored fast. 
you'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Are you okay? Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. What's wrong? You okay? That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. Come on, there's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. Oh, who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? I already brought it in. All right, well, I'm off.
this week. Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. He investigates stuff, like crime scenes. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Aren't you going to eat?
Breakfast ready. Good morning. Okay, let's eat. I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. You're starting school today, right? My school's on the way, so let's go together. straight from here. My school's this way. Bye! The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um... I don't want to talk about it. What's with him? Who knows? All right, shut your traps. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first, just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. What's that look you're giving that girl back there by the window? You thought I wouldn't notice? Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer...
transfer students, it's here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? H hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. How much longer is this gonna take? There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights? Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw, uh, that's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. <laughs> Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Are you going home by yourself? Why don't you come with us? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka, this was really awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry, it was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya, thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> ah! Mine's cracked, too. Critical hit to the nads. Uh, are you alright? 
Oh, Yukiko-san. Are, are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. You're Yuki, right? Y you want to go hang out somewhere? What? Wh who are you? What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I... I'm not going. Fine! What... what did he want from me? What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? That's what makes it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn! It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Oh, I knew it! Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kinda weird, huh? Come on, stop it. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, but this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city, and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. 
Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with them. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <coughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? I'm sorry. <clears throat> oh, go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! <sighs> I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. On the roof? That's scary. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Every day's great at your Juness. one of my class. S someone You saved me. Thanks. Um... Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. 
then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Oh crap, we're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. So, are you getting used to this place? Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like that's anything special, huh? I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the inn today anyway. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well. We should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here! Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Jeunesse, can you? <sighs> hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. <laughs> he wishes. Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. I think she's working here part-time, though. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Hey, I'm finally on break. What's up, Hana-chan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Ugh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ugh. Why'd I leave school early yesterday? Hey! Is he the kid who transferred here? Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? 
I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Laters. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oh! You don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain. Ho oh, ho, the flame of forbidden love. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. Been busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. Police plan to investigate this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <gasps> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? Huh? That's... A 
tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? <sighs> we'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day is great at your Juness. Every day is great at your Juness. Hey, Dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <laughs> no? Are you okay? Okay. Well, good night.
um... being hung upside down. That's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Y Yo. Um. It's, a. Uh, it's not really that important, but, well, yesterday on TV, I, uh, Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see... it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But... my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Oh, yeah? Well, flat-screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? 
We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the? We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> It's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Nope. Can't get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ah, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm... in the TV? Whoa... Uh... Is that some kind of... new model? L like with a, a new function? Hell no! You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh man! This is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Daddy, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! Inside? Wh what do you mean, empty space? What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit! Customers! They're coming! What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! What are we gonna do? Wait! wait whoa! Wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here?
I think my butt's cracked now. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, oh, stupid. Look around. Is this... a studio? All this fog. Or... is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no, but man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Huh? B but look, we need to get home and... Huh? Wait a minute. Wh which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in. Or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Yeah, an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding! Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! Uh, I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care! Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there! What 
What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! Well, what are you? You want to fight? Uh, don't yell at me like that. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Did we... make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain! Crap, it's already that late? Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop! No more! We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Hey, welcome home. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn.
She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh, yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? You should get to bed after you take it. Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you as students of this school to provide only the facts. Please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <laughs> She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. 
Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey. Did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke! Not you too! Just listen for a sec! Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain, and then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe... Just maybe, but Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died, too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on. Are you saying people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure, but something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. And that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Well, what do you think? So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this! You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're gonna believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just, I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? You serious? Anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. You guys came. We came to stop you, idiot. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? Yeah, I thought not. I'm glad to know you're that kind of guy. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? what Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. 
Here, this is for you. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. All right, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. This is the same place as last time, so they are connected from place to place. You guys! Why'd you come back? I get it! You're the ones behind this! You're that thing from last time. Wait, what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. What are you talking about, throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here, does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a life li What?! Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here! I'm the one who wants to investigate! I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. See? So it is you guys! For the last time, it's not us, so we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up. Because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, dammit! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here, shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back! It's dangerous when that happens! Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it! You better stop right now! I've told you and told you we're not the ones doing it! I've about had it with you! Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Uh, I'm just saying... You might be the culprits. Uh, I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here.
Only me and shadows are here. I told you before. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Whoa! What the hell are you? It's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. <sighs> okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. You little... This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> what are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Hey, what should we do? It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Teddy! <laughs> Figures, but how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. What are these glasses for? Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? Th there better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but I mean, they're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. How's that sound? <laughs> no! <laughs> Is this thing for real? Uh. This is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Oh yeah, can I ask you something? Who's this Saki-senpai person? Someone you know? <sighs> that doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Wait! What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. What's going on here? Some weird places have appeared here recently. 
things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not. I mean, um, I can't stand too close, you know? I get in your way. <sighs> Man, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. <sighs> As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki-senpais. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Huh? Listen, some shadows have weaknesses. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. have what effects on enemies. What was that? Did I hear you say Persona? What was it? I mean, 
What did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. S sensei? Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear! I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power! No wonder the shadows were scared of you! <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? <laughs> and that's what I thought! This is really something! Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Oh, uh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted! You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Not again. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this... Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places! I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos... Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? I... never had the chance to say it. Is that... Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? That he was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. Pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything, especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true, I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You've got to be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? 
Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop! Stop it! You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero! And that senpai you were so sweet on? Her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Out of the way! How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. I'm gonna crush you with everything I got! Out of the way! What a frickin' pain in the ass! Get out of my way!
thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Myself. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. This is my persona. We heard Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy, could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. They were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted. But they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah, I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. 
Will you guys come back here? You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! What's with that face? Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The, the rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! <laughs> I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Well, see you in the morning. Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Really? But it must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so, um... <laughs> I see. She's always full of energy. Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. <laughs> oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Um, I'll see you at school then. <laughs> Dad's late. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The 
body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Huh? No, um... This is boring. Oh, I need to do the dishes. In other Inaba-related news, meteorologists are predicting heavy fog throughout the year. The region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and the cause of the climate change is unknown. Whatever the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. The time is now midnight. Welcome. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice, thereby enacting your glorious awakening to your power. Hold on to this. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. Your destiny will require you to hone your power. 
And for that, you will inevitably require our help. There is but one price for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear to face various difficulties in life. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, it is very special. It is like the number zero, empty yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. Yo! You saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Yeah, I agree. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. And again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like, as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities.
Yeah, um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y- Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey, is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? I think it was Yukiko. The kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. I got worried, so I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No. What's that supposed to mean? Wait, are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? We don't know yet for sure. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her another call. No good! Her voicemail picked up! She's not answering! Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? Stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. She might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Um, uh... Nah, it was nothing. (laughs) I'll email you again later. (sighs) She was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. (laughs) Now that I think about it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. (laughs) She said she'll be at the inn tomorrow too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine! And you were all, Is Yukiko-san inside that place? (laughs) Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot there's a sale in the electronics department today. How? By talking to that Teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? Shh! Not so loud, you idiot! Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? (gasps) That's good. Sheesh, that stupid bear must have done it. Hey, you. We know you're in there. Oh, oh, is this a game? No, it's not a game. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. (laughs) Shut it! So 
there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. Alright, don't forget to watch tonight. Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. We haven't found the cause of death for the first Vic. And now we got a second one just like it. If this is a murder case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. But if that's true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. But I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew and our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? <laughs> <laughs>